White Bird. Julian has struggled to belong ever since he was expelled from his former school for his treatment of Uggy Pullman. To transform his life, Julian's grandmother finally reveals her own story of courage. Mm. During her youth in Nazi-occupied France, a boy shelters her from mortal danger. Together, they find first love in a stunning magical world of their own creation, while the boy's mother risks everything to keep her safe. Mm. That's the story of White Bird. Millie, what did you think of this movie? Um, partly produced by Kingdom Story Company, the guys that brought us Jesus Revolution. Mm. What did you think about the movie, Millie? What a beautiful movie, Beto. I really loved the movie. It was like so many feelings. I was happy. I was sad. I was like inspired. Um, I really love enjoyed the movie. I love the message and um, what the baby boomer, the grandma, the paper of this woman. It is so beautiful because she talks about legacy, right? What mm. I can give to the next generation to fight for. And what I see was like, never forget about kindness and love. And what we were mentioned before, we were been talking better is that uh, this movie, they never talk about, they never talk about Jesus or God, but they leave it, you know? And mm -hmm. that's when we know that how we discover that people is godly because they have so many fruits in the way they walk and they, they act. You know, if they see a need, they offer a hand and they help the needy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautifully said, Millie. Yeah, it's a very moving story. It comes as a kind of like a sequel to the movie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Where this kid had I love that transition. Right? It's a special. It's a special uh -huh. transition because it's like give give the second give it the second opportunity to someone to do good and experience uh, freedom and liberty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess Wonder. It's a movie about giving uh, fair treatment to, to somebody that looks different than us. Mm -hmm. But then in this second movie, is giving that bully. Mm -hmm. A second opportunity, right? And I think that's totally how God um, cares for us. You know, he gives us a second, even a third opportunity. And to have that role of, like you said, the, the mm. grandma saying, how can I pass on the baton to my, to my grandson that, hey, I know you were expelled because you were a bully to a mm. kid. And let me tell you about bullies, mm -hmm. right? So then she starts narrating this story yeah, when she grew up. in life... We always gonna have the opportunity to good do, to do good or do bad. Mm -hmm. You know, we always have we have free will. So what we gonna do with this free will that God is giving us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, the the visuals, the story, the characters, the the writing of the movie. It's awesome. Like mm. you you're not gonna be disappointed when you go watch this movie. Uh, you're going to be inspired. Like you said, you have all kinds of feelings because there's like historic elements. There's there's the reality, right, that this happened in you know, occupied France mm. and then how they were sending people off to uh, camps, concentration camps and all of that. So there's, there's a lot of like really sad moments in the movie. Mm. Uh, but within all of that, I think the main theme is how to bring people out of mm -hmm. darkness, right? Mm -hmm. Like when we experience so much darkness and as a humanity, how we have experienced darkness in, in the times of war, um, that's very translatable to nowadays and to the lives that we might be living, even though they, they maybe not like exactly as they lived it back in like Nazi and you know, occupied France or other places of the world. Mm -hmm. But how are we living? Uh, and I, actually they mentioned this a little bit in the movie, right? Like in the United States where, where this woman now lives and she's telling the story to this boy, right? In New York and all of this. Uh, they mention uh, what was his name? Martin Luther, mm -hmm. right? My, Martin Luther King. And he says, 
darkness cannot drive out darkness mm, so right powerful. so only love that, can that do that was one of my favorite things to hear right? in the movie and i yeah. guess this is a this is a phrase we've heard again and again mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. still so relevant throughout the generations and throughout yeah. the eras because in the times and circumstances circumstances we might be living anywhere we're at right in the world wherever there is violence wherever there's people abusing somebody else wherever there's people um seeing other people as lower than than human mm. you know that's darkness that's how the spirit the human soul can get yeah. so dark and evil and the only way to bring people out of that darkness is with light mm. and light is love right and and somebody giving offering kindness somebody even being willing to put their life at risk for somebody else that's why i was saying really this is totally biblical even mm -hmm. though it doesn't talk about the bible imagine uh, in this movie we have we see that how people can die for a friend mm. the power of that mm -hmm. can transform nations can transform the heart of others mm -hmm. yeah jesus said there's no greater love than this than he who lays down his life for his friends right And it's that's, not saying for your son, for <laughs> your mom, for your friends. And who yeah. can be your friends? Oh, your friend can be your mom, your dad, your neighbor, right? Mm -hmm. hey, it's so epic, Millie. Um, I, I feel identified also like we're Latinos, right? And we say it all the time when we're you know, speaking in English that as Latinos, I, I think I relate to that. You know, this idea that, that these people, you know, she's the little girl is Jewish Mm. Right. So in that sense, it, it's kind of funky because being Jewish she's is partly an excited, right. Uh, yeah. She's from the outside. But at the same time, it, it's kind of like religious, but it's also like an ethnic view of, of who they are. Right. So mm. people targeting specific people because of that. Right. Like I identify with that as Latino sometimes, you know, like feeling, uh, you know, as Latinos, maybe we're targeted in certain ways. Like we've mm -hmm. have experiences where we've been targeted because we're Latinos, mm -hmm. right? Like I mean, there's, there's no hiding that, uh, but also like overcoming that, right? Like overcoming that through, through hope, mm -hmm. through somebody like, um, giving you a hand, not a handout, but like a hand up and saying, Hey, you're a fellow human, right? And you're a believer in Jesus Christ. Like, how can I help you? Right. And we have, um, what do you call like personal cases where people have said that like, even though you're Latinos, even though you're immigrants, uh, undocumented, I want to give you a hand. I want to help you out. You know, people, um, uh, in our case, you know, people trying to offer us a, a path mm -hmm. to get our paper, um, our paperwork done. To me, that's somebody that's willing to step outside of like the yeah. norms the and beauty, saying, the, I, I, yeah. I stand with you. The beauty of people to look at put potential. That's right. You know, when, yeah. they, when they see the potential in others, that's a gift. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Millie, highly recommend people watch this movie. What is your final emoji with all the sensations you felt in this movie? What is your <laughs> final emoji? It's a lot about... We learn a lot from this movie, you know, it's, everything is so godly, so beautiful, well say, with, that for me is like holy. Holy. Holy, holy emoji. There we go. Holy emoji for Millie. For me, Millie, guess what? What? I'm going to give it the divine wow. emoji. This is a higher movie. This is, <laughs> this is the highest of the highest. And like I said, even though it, like, it doesn't uh, no, mention Jesus and all of that, but because I know I'm only saying that because we're kind of like seeing this as a Christian movie, right? And it's mm. produced by the people that brought us Jesus Revolution and Kingdom Story Company, which are known to have made um, Christian, like relevant Christian films, right? So... I think it's completely relevant, completely divine that somebody will lay down their life mm. for their friends, right? So I think that's what you see portrayed again and again in this movie. I'm um, just so excited, Beto. God is using all these movies to transform the people, to uh, open their eyes. The, somehow God is always talking. God is always working. You know, we see now in America that a lot of pastors around us, they're just quit. 
they're tired or they burn or they're they're done with their ministry but god is always gonna use other people who is available mm -hmm. so whether you like it or no god is always working god is in our lives and yes if you have that feeling or that concern that it's hard for you to belong don't worry us as a christians better we don't belong to this world god jesus is preparing a home for us so mm. that's our hope yes so good okay well thank you for being here with us you know we love to talk about christian movies we love to talk about culture we have awesome guests uh, both in english and in spanish we have a full-on spanish stream and channel here on youtube if you want to subscribe to that and listen to us speak in spanish we do weekly live streams in spanish and whenever we have guests in english we also try to do live streams here on youtube so if you enjoy this if you like you know listening to us in our big thick mexican accent well we invite you to like and subscribe and you know ring the bell to get more videos like this amen all right be the light and the salt of this world see you ciao